Hello everybody and welcome to Benjamin Magnus Plays Faster Than Light for Fortnite, a series where I give a game a go for 14 episodes to see how well it holds up. Now, I know I'm about four years a little tardy to the, uh, the, the FTL sensation, but I just picked it up on Steam and I played it for a couple hours and boy did I get super addicted really fast and I just really wanted to bring it to my channel considering I, I was going to be playing it anyway, and I thought it fit in well, so let's give it a go. Now, I was, I started out playing on normal, and man, I'm bad at this game. I m once, I think, maybe got to the fifth sector on normal mode, uh, and then, you know, I couldn't get, I couldn't unlock any ships, I couldn't get anywhere, I was so bad at it, so I started playing on easy. I know it's a bit of a cop-out. Normally, I don't like to, put, you know, dock, knock down the difficulty there, but uh, I gotta at least, I gotta do it until I'm a little bit better at the game. Uh, and I did manage to get on easy mode, get all the way to the end in this ship right here. I was a little surprised too, because normally like drone, the drone combat thing is not really my my forte, but I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, and, and playing as the uh, the engineer guys, these little mechanical dudes, I found it to be a lot of fun. But I do have two other ships I have not really played yet as unlocked. And I think we're gonna, give, we're gonna try one of these, I think. So this one, is equipped with a cloaking system. That's not really my thing either, so I think I'm probably gonna go with this. Now, if I remember correctly, what I like about this is that it has a, like, a very diverse crew. I believe it has some sort of cool, it's this right here, ah, artillery beam. Powers a slow, high-powered beam that pierces all shields and does one damage per hit per room. Uh, more power means faster cooldown. So we're gonna go with this ship and start up a new game. Now, if you guys don't know, this is a roguelike game, which means chances are I'm going to be failing and restarting a lot. Let's see, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure you explore each sector before moving out of the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip, auto-fire, auto-title will let weapon uh, maintain its target. Just keep an eye on your missile count. Okay. Auto-fire is that... Eh, it... it Autofire is really good when I was playing as the engineer ship. Uh, this one, I don't think it's going to be that great. I don't, I'm just assuming everybody has already played this game considering it's been out for years now. But if you haven't, uh, let me just give you a quick over, eh, we'll just, we'll just start and we'll, we'll pick it up as we go. What I just did right down here was, this is my spare power right here. I just, uh, powered up this laser. You can see as I give it power, it, uh, it activates right there. And we have a little bit of scrap metal right now, so we can actually increase the power of our reactor so that we can fully power our engines down here, which gives us, uh, as you can see, an evade, our chance to evade incoming fire goes from 15 to 20% there. Oh, wait, where is it? There it is. There it is. All right, let's jump to the next sector. Uh, there's a little nebula up here, so I'm going to go down this way. And we'll see what happens. Scans reveal an order finding yourself in factories, all standing still and empty. There's nothing here. <laughs> Alright, ooh, a distress call. Someone might need help. I might rage in this game, just so you know. Ah, yes. This is part of the reason why I like the, the diverse crew, because the diverse crew gives you a lot of, um, you know, good chances to uh, have a positive outcome. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread uh, virulently. You have setting up quarantine. Make sure it contains the ride is broken out. Send your crew to control. Uh, ignore the request. I can send the rock crew in. Send your rock crew member to prevent a riot. NG crew send your... Okay. I'm going to send the NG crew member in because I don't think uh, the NG would actually succumb to the disease. Yeah. No fear of catching the disease. Your NG crew member helps reassure and reorganize and organize the infected humans. Calmed by its extensive knowledge into human physiology, the infected submit to the quarantine that hopes that a cure can be found soon. The colony leader offers a reward helping to prevent an ugly incident. So they gave me four fuel, one drone part, and 11 scrap. All right, let's just continue on then. Ooh, uh, we're zoomed in close, we warped in close to his sun, which means there's gonna be sol solar flares. This beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves into a game, engage, all right. So, the only thing we have, we only have the one weapon right now, so what I'm going to do first is target his shields. We just have to wait for the weapon to charge, and this bar right here is that artillery beam. Oh, he got me with a missile. I took his shields down and he took out my 
uh, my bridge. This is my bridge right here. If you guys don't know, again, if you don't know, uh, weapon system, sensors, shields, uh, that's a med bay, oxygen, doors, uh, that's my artillery beam, piloting, and uh, it's like a cockpit and engines. So right now those guys are um, repairing the engines. She uh, the missiles, like that right there, they go right through shields. So even if my shields were up, it wouldn't stop those. But I just knocked his weapons out, and one more hit should do the trick here. So he's about dead. This barrage will do it. Oh, and I'm on fire. I got two missiles, a drone part, and 22 scrap. All right, so easiest way to take out, oh, you know what, fuck. My doors are broken right now. All right, so you two put out this fire. You guys fix that door for me. That's about, well, here it is, down here, door subsystem. All right, now we can just open up the airlocks and blow all the oxygen out, and that'll put the fire out. All right, and everyone back to their positions. Now we can close these doors. The oxygen system will automatically pump O2 back in there. Oh, somebody needs... This guy needs health. Oh, you know what? I gotta get out of here. The solar flares are just gonna keep coming if I don't try to get out of here soon. Oh. You know what? It just... Ah, took out my sensors. Alright, let's do this the easy way. Alright, we'll vent all th this compartment out into space. Make sure the fire's out. And then we'll jump out and repair the sensors. Yep, it's fires out, so close the doors. We'll actually close all doors. There we go. Repair my sensors, please. And before the next solar flare comes in, we'll jump out. There it is. And hopefully there's not a ship over here waiting for us. Right, the ship is a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. I could buy Emma as a slave for 44 scrap, but I only have 43. Now, if I attack him, there's a chance that he'll surrender and give me a crew member. And the more crew members, the better. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize there was a fire down here. All right, everyone back to their positions. Uh, first things first, just take out his weapon system. He's only got one shield charge. And I believe he's he's got more guns than I do. So we'll keep his weapons down and we should be good. All right, let's close all doors. Fires are out. And this time, let's, um, let's just double down on the weapons. Make sure they stay down. Because, oh, one was taken by the, sh yeah, he got one of those guns back up. One, one hit was uh, absorbed by the shields. One hit the weapon system. He's got someone repairing it right now, and the other one missed. Got to miss. Ah, there we go. Keep his weapons down. All right, now let's go for the shields. Oh, no, he's charging his guns. You can see it right there. Just keep going for weapons. Got him. Everyone's dead, but we got some scrap out of it. All right, no, it, I... To my understanding, what basically what you're gonna what you want to do is to hit as many systems in the sector before moving on to the next one. You receive a request. All of our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the rebellion. However, there have been reports of Mantis War Camp. Only a few jumps here. Can you help? Yes. Alright. So uh, I have a quest marker on my map now, so now I should try to head to that because there might be a if I succeed, I'll get a unique reward. And if ship is badly damaged, still being assaulted by space pirates. The victim being in a distress mission until the pirate cut in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. So, I can sit here, and the pirates will give me two fuel, a drone part, and 11 scrap, which is not very much. So, I will be a hero and attack the pirate. Now, he's got a missile launcher here. So, I'm definitely going to focus in on his weapons first. Because the missiles will go right through shields and hit your, hit your hull. Boom, there it is. Good. Tuck out his weapons. Uh, next thing we're going to try to do is take out his shields. Let's wait for the burst laser here. Boom, boom, boom. Shields down. And he's repairing his weapons, so we'll hit that again. Missile launchers, they just tear right through shields. They don't even just completely bypass them. Oh, he's trying to get out of here. Oh, okay. Um... 
No. I'm just gonna kill him. He's trying to power up his engines right now, so we're gonna put the next shot into his engine. Hopefully we can get it off before he jumps away. I think we'll be able to. Yep, there we go. Got him. 20 scr- uh, I didn't really get any- I didn't get much more than I would've anyway. I didn't take any damage though, so that was good. Well, just the one from the one missile hit. Find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Ooh. I th now, this- I, I've had this one hit before, and like half the time I lose a crew member, half the time I gain a crew member. Let's send them over to help fight the alien spiders and see what happens. Your crew slowly creeps up on a cluster of creatures from behind without warning the giant arachnids turn and charge. However, your team stays in control. Yes! Before long, you've beaten them back. Contact the station's owners. They're thrilled. We get fuel, drone parts, and some scrap. Now we have some spare scrap. I'm actually going to upgrade my, my doors and my sensors right now. Now that makes, uh, that changes these doors from regular doors to blast doors. And blast doors, the enemy have to fight through. If they board you, they can't just walk through them. And the increased sensors will give you in, uh, better information on the enemy ships. You find the Mantis encampment, but there are far too many of them to count accurately. You send a long-range message back to the settlement with your findings, but unfortunately, there's not much you can do. Be suicide to attack directly. <laughs> leave before they notice you. They try to leave, patrol spots you. Wailing sirens begin to blare around the camp, and the ship moves into attack. Now, the thing about the Mantis, they're really good in combat, and in, in, like, personal combat, and they like to board. But it doesn't look like they have... They don't have a transporter, so I should be fine. Let's take... Uh, they only got one shield again. Let's take out their weapons before they can do much damage. Something I've never bothered to do is, is get transporters myself. Oh, this missile missed. And try, you know, purposely try to board an enemy ship. I've never tried that yet. And we're just going to keep uh, doubling down on their weapons. And hopefully we keep them offline and they won't do any damage to me. Yeah, ah, set them on fire too. They might lose a crew member. Yeah, their weapons are permanently down now. Let's shoot them, uh, try to kill that guy. Got him. Nice. Two missiles, one drone part, and 27 scrap. Good. All right, now we got a little bit of time before the Republic or the Rebellion fleet gets up here, so uh, we could probably hit this one. Th we could probably hit two more, so let's go. Let's go up here, here, and then exit. You detect a Rebel Scout on an attack approach to a smaller fueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. All right, let's intervene and defend the outpost because sometimes you get double rewards for defending people. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the re rebel fleet. You move to engage. Ah, and they have a drone here. Combat drone. So this guy's going to try to shoot me. All right, again, they only have one shield, so let's try to take down their, their weapons first. He's got a missile launcher. Ooh, he got one off. He hit an unoccupied compartment. All right, so weapons are down. Let's try to take out the drone control next. So if I take out the drone control, this guy stops firing on me. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully they don't charge, uh, you know, fix those weapons. Aha, set them on fire, excellent. All right, good. Oh, he got his weapons back up though. Let's try to take those back down. Haven't used my artillery beam yet. None of the enemy ships have survived long enough. Starting to take a little bit of damage. Uh, I'll probably get it this time. This one's not going to kill him. Two hits. He's got one hit left. So the artillery beam will fire. There we go. Boom. Got him. All right. The outpost hails you. Pompous bastards expect free service, but they have to defend the fire. to take this as help. So we got double rewards there. All righty. So let's move on. We got one more location to visit before we leave the first sector and I mean we're doing pretty good I would have I mean we've gotten a nice amount of, of scrap and supplies but I would have liked I don't know maybe a new crew member or a weapon the rebels in the system are doing supply runs for the local space stations these civilians have likely been out of supply for months due to the war and are desperate need attack the rebels wait and steal the supplies from the civilians 
Um, well, we're in a good straight right now. This is the first sector, so let's attack the rebels. Again, we're gonna focus on weapons first. Uh, I would I would focus on shields if they had two shields up, but they only have one, and I get three shots. So, all right, they missed. And uh, that beam weapon, it only does damage to to hulls. So if your shields are up, it ne completely negates it. All right, take their shields down. Boom, boom. And we're gonna go back to weapons. They just got their their laser beam. I don't I don't actually know what the name of that beam weapon is. It's a couple different beam weapons, so we'll just call it a laser beam. Nice. I've been setting a lot of fires. I don't normally don't set that many fires. All right, this, this was it. Yeah, definitely the right choice. Super easy victory. There we go. That'll be it right there. All right. So with the rebel ship destroyed, you take the time to collect what little scrap remains. They have already made their delivery to the civilians. So we can steal from the civilians or leave them alone. There's a chance if we leave them alone, they might give us something like a crew member. So let's do that. Uh, hey, my son was on that ship. He only helped the rebels because they cared too much about help uh, with. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck you too. All right, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Should have just stolen their shit. I mean, apparently one of them had a son on the rebel ship. All right. Now you see a civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. I'm not using drone parts, so yes, I will sell them. Because I don't have any drones on this ship. Next sector. Uh, Uncharted Nebula or Zoltan Controlled. I don't like nebulas. Uh, it's very, you know, uh, ran it's, it, even for a random game, it's very random. You've entered Zoltan territory. This species is not renowned for giving anything for nothing. You can always be assured for a fair hearing. All right. Hmm. It looks like up here is more, you know, populated, but we might have to, we have to go through the nebula to get there, or we just bug out to the exit. Probably gonna go north first. So we, what we need is to find is a store. Sultan Academy sits docked just outside the uh, beacon perimeter. I will show you the fruits of their labor and offer you something to take home. Thirteen scrap and stealth weapons. So stealth prevents your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak, allowing you to shoot while cloaked. So if I got a cl bought a cloak, I could shoot while I was cloaked. And there's a store right there. Let's hit the distress signal first. And then go to the store and see if we can find a cloak to use. Encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. Looks as if seeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. It's distress speaking is active. You're not sure if anyone was born. Let's hail them. Vessels ready to hear from you. They're running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. Missiles for drone parts? I don't care. They ran out of fuel and they want to buy weapons? You catch a glimpse of a strange signal coming from a space station before your sensors shut off unexpectedly. As you discover that your sensors are being jammed, you hear hostiles beaming onto your ship, so we have intruders on board right now. So this is definitely something new. Until you are able to jump away from the hostile space station, your sensors will be disabled. You should deal with these borders first, though. Oh, there's three of them. All right, uh, let's get out, out of the shield room there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up all of the doors on this side and try to vent them out into space. All right, and actually putting someone on one of these subsystems bolsters the doors, so they're harder to get through, although they just they, they did just break through that one. I so see what we're gonna do is, hopefully, they'll, they'll suffocate before they make it through anywhere. I mean, there's three of them. I can't really fight three people. It's really difficult. They didn't, they're not, oh, shh. Haven't taken the slightest bit of damage. This is bad. This is really bad. So we got, we're gonna have, try venting it from this side too. Shit. This is bad. This is really bad. Ah, right, they're damaging the systems. Oh, there's one right there fighting my rock monster. Oh, there's the other two. Oh God, there's so many of them. Oh, there's five. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, I'm gone. Yup. Uh, that's it for me. Yeah, I've never I've never had to fight any more than 3 intruders at once before. Well, let's open all doors and then close these ones back up. Uh, 
I think I actually just realized that I had messed something up. I think I realized that. Oh shit. Oh no. All right, that's it for me. You're gonna get my last crew member. I think I forgot to open up these two exterior doors on this section here. Well, that was a really bad run. A really bad run for my first episode, so... Um, woo! Definitely gonna try that again. With the same ship, I think. Because, I mean, I liked the ship, I liked the crew. I, I, I definitely got a bad run of luck with, like, five intruders beaming on board all at once, and I did definitely forget to open up those two doors, I think. But I think I'm going to leave this for the first episode right here. I did have fun, and we'll pick it up tomorrow, so if you have enjoyed this, just drop me a like, leave in those comments right down below, and if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus Plays FDL, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.